because two missiles have hit Ukraine's Black Sea port of Odessa hours after the signing of a UN-backed deal with Russia in Istanbul, Turkey, clearing the way for grain export to resume in the Black Sea port. Now, UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres, speaking at the signing ceremony on Friday, remarked that the agreement is a beacon of hope in a world that desperately needs it. Moses Imendi has the details in this report. Moscow and Kiev signed a deal brokered by the United Nations to reopen grain exports from Ukraine's Black Sea ports yesterday. However, the fulfillment of the agreement could now be on the balance after two missiles hit Ukraine's port of Odessa today. The blast comes a day after the two countries signed a deal for Black Sea ports to resume grain exports. They have been locked in war since February. A Russian blockade in the Black Sea deterred grain exports, thereby exposing millions of people worldwide to acute hunger. In spite of their differences, the warring countries yesterday struck an agreement for the exportation of blockaded grains to reopen as well as facilitate Russian grain and fertilizer exports. The deal stipulates that Russia must not target ports while grain shipments were in transit and commercial food from three Ukrainian ports will be granted passage in the Black Sea. Antonio Guterres, UN Secretary General, described the deal as a beacon of hope, but the development now seems to suffer blow with a fresh missile attack on the Odessa port. Today, there is a beacon on the Black Sea, a beacon of hope, a beacon of possibility, a beacon of relief in a world that needs it more than ever. You have overcome obstacles and put aside differences to pave the way for an initiative that will serve the common interests of all. Promoting the welfare of humanity has been the driving force of these talks. He described the Ukraine war as a true nightmare as he hopes for the agreement to address bankruptcy and vulnerability of developing countries. This is an agreement for the world. It will bring relief for developing countries on the edge of bankruptcy and the most vulnerable people on the edge of famine. And it will help stabilize global food prices, which were already at record levels even before the war, a true nightmare for developing countries. Back in June, the Senegalese president and chairperson of the AU, Macky Sall, had an audience with Putin in the Russian city of Sochi, where negotiations to clear the way for stocks of cereals and fertilizer to Africa featured. The Grain Exports Agreement seeks to stabilize surging food and fuel prices worldwide, as well as mitigate famine affecting millions across the globe. The attack has been attributed to Russia, but Moscow, however, denied involvement. Observers may now wonder, could the fresh attack signal a wreckage of the grain exports deal signed yesterday? Moses Imendi, iAfrica News.